Hi guys and welcome to episode 25 of Today is To Do. Today we take on the Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. Let's run that intro. So after the win over Manchester United, we took on Newcastle at Wembley. Another two goals for Harry Kane. Moussa Dembele was sent off for us. Newcastle actually took a shock lead through Mitrovic. Alex Ritchie equalised and then John Joe Shelfie was sent off. The game finished 2 all in Fenners. It could have been anything. Then we travelled to the Hawthorns to take on West Bromwich Albion. Jan Vertonghen opened the scoring for us. Eric Lamella doubled our lead before Solomon Rondon pulled one back for West Brom. Harry Kane, with only the one goal this afternoon, secured all three points. We then travelled to St Mary's to take on Southampton in what was going to be a very tricky game. As it turned out to be, it was an absolute classic. Harry Kane opened the scoring for us in the first half. Nothing happened for ages. Gabudini equalised in the 82nd minute for Southampton. I thought we'd blown it. Harry Kane put us back in front in the 85th minute. Schillen then equalised for Southampton only for Harry Kane to pop up once again with the winner in the last minute of stoppage time. And last time out we travelled to the Vitality Stadium to take on Bournemouth. Harry Kane with another two goals. Gomez with another goal for us. Harry Artis got sent off in the first half, which kind of lulled Bournemouth's challenge. However, they did score a consolation in the second half to finish the game at 3-1. So that brings us here. With Manchester United's shock loss to Liverpool on Boxing Day, we are top of the league. Say we are top of the league. We've lost two less games than Manchester United now. Taking on Arsenal this afternoon... As you can see, we play for Borussia Dortmund in the knockout round of the Champions League. Not what I wanted, but it's a fairly good draw. So in the real world, it's very much Wenger out. On Football Manager, it's very much Wenger in. He is still in charge of the Arsenal. Alexis Sanchez is still here, as is Mesut Ozil, as is Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Santi Cazorla is back from a long-term injury he missed most of last season with an injury. Lauren Koscielny, Peter Cech, they haven't really added to their squad at all, Arsenal. They have made one key addition, though, that I'm about to show you. And that is Andra Bellotti. Signed from Torino, he's already got 18 goals in 19 games for Arsenal. Unsurprisingly, he's no interest in joining Tottenham. Why would he? He's an Arsenal player, 24 years of age, Italian international at full and under-21 level. Finishing of 16, physical attributes are fairly impressive. The mental attributes are not bad too. He is definitely going to be Arsenal's danger man this afternoon. And just, this is why I have highlighted him. Right, so let's have a look at the two lineups. So we start with Arsenal. Peter Cech starts in goal. Callum Chambers, Mustafi, Koscielny, Monreal, Coquelin... Cazorla, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, Ozil Sanchez with Balotti up front. We start with Loris Walker, Dyer, Vertonghen, Rose, Wanyama, Dembele, Gomez, Eriksson, Parotti, Kane. It's pretty bog standard from our point of view. So getting a win over Arsenal is generally seen as a good thing. Can we do it today at the Emirates? Let's find out. As it's Harry Kane to get us underway. Back to Christian Eriksen, into Victor Wanyama. On to Moussa Dembele. Dembele goes forward with it. Into Gomez, good start. Can he get the ball over? Yes, he can, but Peter Cech is there. I have to slightly excuse my voice, it is going slightly. So, it might sound like I'm down a hole, but I'm really not. Just a little bit under the weather. Given that it's been really hot outside, is not surprising. That's what generally happens. As Moussa Dembele picks it up. 
Out to Walker. Gets the ball in. Mustafi heads away. Ericsson into Parotti. Oh, Peter Ke Check just turns it behind for the corner. It's a lively start from us. As Parotti takes the corner. Flings it in. Everyone's underneath of it. It's out to Gomez. Parotti. Finds Gomez again. Scored against Bournemouth last week. Can he get one against Arsenal? No, he can't. Not on that occasion. Eriksen with the free kick. Going long. Dembele heads it down. Kane is there. And Kane has picked up a knock. Well, that is not good. Monreal is down injured as well. We'll see how Kane is. They're trying to kill him. The only way to stop him. Eriksen with the free kick off the post. And the ball is... Over the line, Jan Vertonghen has put it in. Calamity from Peter Cech. I thought he had it covered. But he hasn't got it covered. Jan Vertonghen has scored. And we are 1-0 up. Eriksson's free kick. It comes off the post. Gomez deals with it. Cech should deal with it. But drops it for some reason. Jan Vertonghen has the Richard Davis position of shooting from less than six yards and does not make a mistake. Harry Kane is okay to continue. For now, we'll see how he goes. Ozil with the corner. Perotti's back post, Balletti underneath of it. Chamberlain, saved by Loris. Eriksen with another free kick. Flung in again, this time Chambers gets it away, but only as far as Danny Rose. Finds Victor Wanyama on a booking, there's a surprise. Plays it back. Pelotti has now got it for Arsenal. Looking for Chamberlain. They got one over. Sanchez is not a man to be left over. Ozil. Or Ozil, however you say it. Sanchez with the shot, but over the bar. Is it Ozil or Ozil? I call him Ozil. No, I, I call him much worse, but Ozil is his name that I call him. Check with the goal kick. Looking for Sanchez. Headed away by Walker. Picked up by Gomez. Tackled by Coquelin. But picked up by Dembele. Into Kane. Back to Gomez. Back to Kane. Kane with the shot. Even with a dodgy neck he has a good shot on him. Check with the save. And Chambers almost gets it away. And Arsenal eventually clear it upfield. Looking for Balotti. He's in behind Danny Rose. Make sure you stop him Danny. Gets the ball over, but Eric Dyer is there. Chamberlain. Easy one for Loris. Ozil with the corner. Coquelin. Oh, Koscielny, 1-1. One, one. Two goalkeeping errors. One for Czech, one for Loris now. Probably should have done a hell of a lot better, but Arsenal are level. Ball comes in. Not dealt with really initially. Vertonghen with the header away. He's really not dealt with as Loris parries it straight into his fellow countryman's path. And that is Arsenal 1, Tottenham 1. And half time as well to go with it. Same again. Harry Kane is okay. We've got Brighton next in the league. I'd rather keep him on here. And if he's out for the Brighton game, then so be it. Got Arsenal in the FA Cup after that. He probably wasn't going to play then either, if I'm truthfully honest. It's Arsenal to get us underway with the second half. Sanchez has the ball. Walker tries to clear him out. Doesn't succeed. Balotti, good tackle by Eric Dyer. Out for an Arsenal throw in. Cazorla with the free kick. Headed out by Wenyama. Back to Cazorla it goes. Chamberlain. Mustafi. Sanchez out to Renwald. Who's come on for Nacho Monreal, probably. Monreal is not out there, so yeah. Renwald, former, former Ajax player. Yeah, Harry Kane is going to have to come off. They've done him. He's yeah, definitely going to have to come off. So, we can either bring on Andre Gray... Or we can bring on Yannick Karaska. 
and put Perotti up front. I think we might do that. Yannick Carrasca back just in time for the Arsenal game. Perotti not a brilliant striker, but he's going to be better than Andre Gray, I should imagine. We'll figure that out later. But Yannick Carrasca back on. Harry Kane off injured. What will that have for repercussions for the rest of the season? I have no idea. Fellas, it's only a strained neck. I would imagine it's only going to be a couple of weeks. If it's more than that, I should be very annoyed. Walker with the throw in. Dembele. Back to Walker it goes into Ericsson. Ericsson into Gomez. Perotti now the vocal point in the middle. There he is. Oh, Peter Cech beats him to it. Going long, looking for Chamberlain. Headed on, but Jan Vertonghen is there. And he finds Wanyama. Rose up to Carrasca. Carrasca into Ericsson. Ericsson looking for Perotti. Takes on his man, shoots, and it's in! Change vindicated! Diego Perotti, he has not scored in a very long time. It's been about two or three months, at least. What a time to score! Up top for the injured Harry Kane, and that is a brilliant finish from our number 17. And we're back in front. 20 minutes to play. Another substitution. Uh, Christian Eriksen for Deli Alley, more than likely. Just to give you a heads up. Can't take Carrasco off, so just come on. Uh, actually, Eriksen's playing alright. So, let's take off Victor Wanyama. As is also customary these days. Everybody else is fine and dandy. Let's put Winksy on deep lying playmaker. Arsenal corner, Ozil with it. Loris does better with this than he did the last time the ball came to his hands. And he'll go long looking for Carrasca. At least we have got that out ball and a bit of pace with Yannick. He has got them running scared. Coquelin, however, makes the tackle. Looking for Sanchez. Walker with the tackle. Carrasca again. Into Dembele. Onto Eriksen. Tries to find Parotti through the gap. Eric Dyer gets up. Coquelin. Looking for Balotti over the top. Now looking for Sanchez. He's got... Ozil in the middle, Danny Rose does well, just about gets it away. Mustafi into Chamberlain. Ozil 2-2. Two, two. Fairness, we deal with the first ball really well, but we do not deal with this. But then that is an undefendable cross. When you're facing your own goal, that is a horrible ball to have coming across your area. I know it happened to me a few times. There ain't an awful lot you can do. And Arsenal are level. Is anyone going to go on and win it? Is my next question. Into Winks. Up to Carrasca. Eriksen. Picks out a pass for Perotti again. But this time. Check is in the way. And I'm going to take off the control. Stick to standard. Arsenal are pushing forward. Let's not give them an incentive. Venice the shops. Stopping the short goal kick. Actually quite well. Gomez picks it up on this right hand side. Finds Eriksen. Into Dembele. Parotti. Send him. No, should have sent him the other way. That's a good ball over the top for Eriksen. Christian Eriksen! We're back in front again. This is not a normal North London derby. Let me tell you. The 5-4 game a few years ago was an unusual North London derby. This is just as unusual. 3-2. Back in front for a third time. 
can we hang on to it this time? Check with the goal kick going long. Balotti underneath it, but Vertonghen beats him to it. Headed on by Gomez, looking for Perotti. Tries to take on Koscielny, gets past him. Gomez again. Perotti. Finds Winks. Into Carrasca. Carrasca with the shot, but he's wide. Walker with the throw in. Looking for Eriksen. Sanchez, all oh, got to be careful. Xhaka into Balotti. Walker with the tackle. Doesn't really deal with it though. Sanchez has picked it up for Arsenal down this left-hand side. Looking for Coquelin. Coquelin with the shot, saved by Lloris. It ain't over. It really ain't over yet. As it's Ozil with the corner. Dembele heads away. Carrasca should beat... Run wild to the foot race, but he hasn't done. Ball comes in, but this time it's harmlessly into Loris's hands. And take your time, Hugo. Xhaka. Ozil. Balotti. Saved by Loris. Arsenal are coming on strong in the last few minutes. Let's play on the counter. <laughs> Let's sit back and just hit and try and hit them on the break if we can. Ozil with the corner. Koscielny up, Xhaka blocked, Don't, not sure who blocked it, someone did. Out to Chamberlain, close him down. Or just let him shoot, but that's fine. Walker, up the right end of the field in our... Oh God, we're giving it away. I had to say it, didn't I? Bellotti. Looking for Chamberlain, get back. He's supposed to be playing on the counter-attack, oh my word. Check with the goal kick. Last couple of minutes coming up. It's all hands to the pump. To kick this ball out. Chamberlain's inside. Saved by Loris. Ozil with the corner. Headed out by, the, at the moment, the match winner, Christian Eriksen. Ozil with the cor cross coming in again. Bolotti is not underneath it. Walker is. And Gomez looks to get us on the break. We're flooding forward. Is he going to get the crossover? Or is he just going to take it to the corner? He's done the right thing. Run wild with the tackle, but Gomez has bought us some precious seconds up in that corner. It's Walker with the throw in. Take your time, Kyle. Dembele, don't lose it. What does he do? He gives it away. Ozil. Chamberlain's far post on his own again. Danny Rose is... In no man's land. Chamberlain with the shot. Again, Loris with the save. As the seconds tick by and they're not going quick. Loris with the catch. Hold it. Sit on it. Read a magazine. I don't care. Just hold on for a second. Going long looking for Perotti. Mustafi heads away. Picked up by Gomez inside. Looking for Perotti. We're still pushing forward. We're, tr we're still trying to score. I don't understand. I, yeah. I commend them. This is how Aussie Ardiles used to manage. As long as we score more than the other team, it doesn't matter. Harry Winks. I think we've got a semblance of control on things now, though. Walker with the throw. Dembele, keep it down there. Don't give it away. There we go. Gomez. Mertesacker with the clearance into the last 15 seconds. We are almost over the line. And there we are. An absolute classic. I totally agree with that. Arsenal 2, Tottenham 3. Christian Eriksen with the winner. Oh. A very good victory. I'm not going to let Mike Phelan take today's team talk. Every player to a man in that last 10 minutes or so, it was all hands to the pump. We have played a game more than Manchester United. We are now five points in front of them. Having a look down the bottom, Brighton are still bottom. As I say, we play them next. They've just shacked Chris Hutton. Norwich second from bottom. Crystal Palace third from bottom. 
Manchester City down in 11th. They've also packed, sacked Pep Guardiola. It's been a topsy-turvy season so far. And for, quite frankly, I don't think we've seen anything yet. Potentially the best news of the season so far. Harry Kane doesn't appear to have picked up an injury worth shouting about at least overall tiredness after the game they put it down to so that's good news phew so there we have it a win over Arsenal is always a good one especially when you let them back into the game twice and then kick them right where it hurts very very enjoyable I hope you have enjoyed it if you have please leave a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do so if you would like to follow me on the Twitter, Twitter handle is above my head. That was episode 25 of Today Is To Do. Hopefully my voice is a bit better for episode 26. If not, then it will be a bit like this next time round. But I'll see you next time anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.